Hi, today we learn an easy flamenco piece in the style of Soler. This is one of the main styles or palos of flamenco and is usually in E major frisian or A major frisian. The piece we learn is in E. So it's a Soler por arriba. Frisian is the third mode of the major scale, so frisian notes are the ones of C major starting from its third degree E, F, G, A, B, C, D. The name is E major Frisian because the third is raised to G sharp. The solea compa is in 12 and accents are on 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12. You'll notice that while I play, sometimes I try to accent these by playing louder, sometimes by adding a golpe. I have already described the three forms of compa we'll use and how to do a golpe in another video. So for the sake of brevity, I won't repeat all again. The link is in the description. In addition to the golpe, this piece includes another important flamenco technique, the rasgueado, also in its rasgueado redondo version. Now, let's listen to the piece. Okay, let's start with the intro. The asterisk represents a golpe, so if you want, you can add it while playing the corresponding note or during the corresponding rest. You just have to hit the top of your guitar with the ring finger like this. I suggest you play golpes only if your guitar has a protection on the top, a golpe ador. They are cheap and you can buy one on the internet or at your local music store. On the first six beats, we have an E chord. We strum with middle and ring fingers on the downbeat and we hammer the flat 9, the F on the 4th string 3rd fret with our pinky on the up beats and remember to accent beats 3 and 6 like this. Then on beat 7 we leave the pinky in place and play an E major add flat 9 chord. We strum it with our index on the downbeat then we have a triplet on the upbeat. For this one, we use a rasgueado. To do that, let's see the initial hand position. Keep the index and middle finger behind the thumb and close the ring and the pinky in the palm, like this. Then rest the thumb on the sixth string to get stability and stick each finger out, paying attention to the tempo. Then we strum down with the index on the 8th downbeat, try to accent it, end up with the index on the 8th upbeat. Notice that while you strum with the index, the other fingers get back to the starting rasgada position. So it's 7 and 8 and... Then we repeat a second time, but the chord on 10 lasts for a whole beat, so we just strum it downwards with the index, remember to accent it, and we then do two golpes on 11 and 12. So beats from 7 to 12 are like this. 7 and 8 and 9 and 10, 11, 12. So the whole intro played a little faster is like this. We then have a compa that is the beginner version I already showed you in the other video. After that, we have a llamada. This word comes from Spanish verb llamar, that means to call, because the llamada precedes something that is different from what you played before. So you are calling the attention of the other performers, dancers or singers, 
to notify them for something that is going to change. In our piece, the Yamada is followed by the falsetta that we'll see in a moment. Our Yamada is simple. We strum E major and E7 with middle and ring on 1 and 2, then F major on 3, either with middle and ring or with the thumb. We may use another finger to differentiate and accent the third beat. Then we prepare an E major with the left hand and we do a golpe on the four downbeat. And then we strum our chord with the index every half a beat. So five times. We have four and five and six. And to accent six, you can do a golpe on its downbeat, like this. Four and five and six. And then from seven to ten, we play a chord on each, lasting for the whole beat, and always add the gold bit. We have an F major 7 on beat 7, an E major on beat 8, then again an F major 7 on beat 9, and an E on beat 8. Then we rest on beats 11 and 12. Notice that in music, silence is very important too. So the whole Yamada is like this. One. After the Yamada, we have a thumb falseta or falseta de pulgar in Spanish. I've heard this played by a famous flamenco guitarist, Juan Lorenzo. A falseta is a melodic line played between sung verses or to accompany dancers. Pay attention to play the thumb always with rest strokes to have more volume on bass notes. Here we have triplets, so one note on the downbeat and two on the upbeat. We play F A B on one, C D E on two, F on the fourth string, F on the first, and again F on the fourth on three. Then E open sixth string, E open first, E on the fourth string second fret, G sharp, B with a golpe, and E played with your index. Then we repeat these two bars. The next bar is equal to the first one, but we start with the G sharp on the 6th string 4th fret instead of an E. When you get to the F on the first string, keep the index in place for the next two bars because we alternate this F with other notes. So. Then we move the index to the 6th string 1st fret to play an F, hammer the G natural, F, then we have an E at the flat 9 arpeggio, E, B, the 5th of the chord, F, the flat 9, G sharp, the major 3rd, B, then C, and we play a D with the pinky, then we pull it off to play a C with the index and pull off again to play a B. Then A, C, E, A, C, B. Then three more tight notes, C, B, A. Then G on the sixth string, G on the open third, B, F, G, A, B flat tight to A, G, F, A, B, C, D, E, F on the fourth string, F on the first, F again, and finally CR, equal to the one we saw before, with three E's on three different octaves, G sharp, B with the golpe, and E. The CR is the closing of a musical phrase, so the last three bars are While you play chords, try to keep down the fingers as much as possible so the notes continue to resonate. After the falsettas, there are the easy quadruplets and the intermediate sextuplets compa I have described in the other video, so I won't repeat all again. You can find the link in the description. 
Finally, we have the ending, that includes a rasgado redondo, one of the techniques that give flamenco its typical sound. You play triplets by strumming upwards with the thumb, then stick out the ring and the index like this. Thumb, ring, index. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We play an A minor chord with the rasgado on one and two, then we strum up with the thumb on three, and this lasts for the whole beat and is accented. So, one, We repeat the same pattern with the G7, so open 2nd and 3rd string, 4th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 6th string 3rd fret. Also accent the 6th beat. Then on 7, 8 and 9 we play the same pattern again with an F major add sharp 11 chord. The sharp 11 is the B natural on the open 2nd string. Then we have 3rd string 2nd fret. 3rd fret on 4th and 5th strings and 6th string 1st fret. So... Finally, we end on an E major chord on 10. This must be accented so you can strum it with the thumb and add the golpe. As I explained in the other video, when you strum with the thumb, the movement resides in the wrist. So try to keep the arm in position on the guitar and rotate the wrist like this. Alternatively, you can strum it with middle and ring together because these two fingers give a powerful sound marking the end of our piece. That's it. If you have questions, just write me a comment and I'll answer you. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel and activate notifications. I will post more soon. And remember to practice every day. Ciao!